morning everyone and welcome to vlogmas 2021 it's day one it's the first of december today it's 7 06 in the morning i've just got up i've got dressed i'm getting ready because today is day two of my new internship in London. So I have to go up to London on a Tuesday and a Wednesday and then I work from home on a Thursday. I went yesterday. It is so me. I'm so, so excited to be doing it. It's so fun. I don't think I've really spoken about it on here. So I'm doing a social media internship. It's really good. Um, I'm really liking it and it's only day two. I'm tired. I just really struggled to wake up this morning and normally I don't, so I don't really know what was going on there. I also know that this light is very harsh. Um, I've got my lamp on just because I thought that it would make it brighter, which technically it does, but you can literally see in the mirror that it looks like a shadow, like that's how bright it is. Anyway, as I said, today is the 1st of December. December, first of vlogmas which means it's time for the advent calendar oh my goodness what is going on in my throat it's because i haven't had a drink this morning right day one i can't believe it's first of december i go away in two weeks it's a little gingerbread man and now it's gone anyway i need to go downstairs get myself sorted um just know the Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of vlogging during the day just because I had to sign an NDA with my internship because we work with like influencers and brands and stuff. So I can't really say a lot. I can give you like an overview of the sort of things that I get up to during the day, but I can't say like, we're working with so-and-so and they're doing this and they're doing that and or anything like that. So I can't go into any form of detail, but yeah, I just won't be able to film like in the office and stuff, which is understandable, I guess. Right, I need to go and get myself ready. I did a little bit of vlogging throughout the day. It wasn't even really vlogging. It was me taking really great videos of me being in London. But I'm home now. It's 11 o'clock, I think. Obviously, I've washed my hair. I'm going to try and go to sleep now. I haven't recorded anything all evening just because I haven't really done anything. Um, I had a really lovely Wagamama for dinner. I haven't had a Wagamama in like two and a half months. So that was really nice. But yeah, I'm getting up tomorrow just before 10 because I start work at 10. Probably set my alarm for like half nine. It'll be nice to actually have a proper night's sleep without having to wake up really really early but I should vlog a bit more tomorrow because I'm at home in my own environment I can very easily hide things that I need to like regarding my internship and stuff so yeah I will see you all in the morning for vlogmas day two People anxiously, not once did speak to me when tides came, did not flee. The East spoke the same, had the same dream, same pain, and same feelings. Staring at the sea, and what was left of me. Good morning everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Today is Thursday the 2nd of December and I've just made myself some toast because I am working in 10 minutes. Um, I am, not that I'm not feeling 100% because like within myself I feel fine, I've just got cramps so I'm taking it easy, I'm just going to sit on the sofa and do some work today instead of sitting at like a desk or something. But it's 10 to 10 now, um, I'm awaiting an email from my manager, I'm not sure if she's my manager but I'm awaiting an email from her, she basically sends me my tasks to do. But yeah, I haven't really got too much to say apart from the fact that my toast is going cold and I need to eat it. I've just come out into the kitchen to get myself a little snack. Maryland cookies. There's nothing wrong with that. Also got myself a glass of water because we have to stay hydrated. I actually don't think that I drink enough water. It is a bit of a problem. Sometimes I feel myself go like quite lightheaded and I'm like, that's because I've had like two sips of water today. So drink your water kids. I literally told myself that I was gonna film so much today but no, I have been working 
all day. I, I've literally had like no time to film because everything that I have been doing, I can't show you. So I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill. I need to try and switch off. It's five o'clock. It was fun, but today was a little bit stressful because I was learning like a whole new thing. But yeah, I will speak to you guys in a bit. I need to charge my camera. Um, stressful day, but it's over now. It's fine. And at least it was still relatively fun. <laughs> really really excited for tomorrow because it's hair change day i don't actually think that i've said it in this vlog but i am going to get my hair done tomorrow we are saying goodbye to the blonde we are going dark for winter if you look at my hair this is like my natural color and then my roots have kind of just come through but i used to be like pretty blonde it's just got to the point where i can't really afford to keep being blonde if that makes sense so i'm gonna go dark but i'm actually really excited for it it's not gonna be like really really dark brown it's just gonna be quite a big change i'm hoping i'm hoping that people are gonna be able to notice that i have done something to my hair but yeah i'll bring you guys along to the salon tomorrow i'm going just like 20 minutes down the road from my house to go and get it done oh my goodness i'm so excited it's gonna take like four hours but it's gonna be worth it i'm just kind of thinking brown with like nice highlights maybe like this sort of color i'm not really sure i have a photo i'm going to insert the photo here of what i'm kind of hoping that it's going to look like because this is what i sent my hairdresser that's the vibe i'm really excited i hope that it goes like that but i am getting ready to go to bed now tomorrow i need to tidy my bedroom like I'm kind of embarrassed to show you, but I came back from Bristol on Monday. And because I had my internship on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I haven't really had time to unpack my case yet or put away my clothes. So this is the current situation and I'm not happy about it. But it's fine. I'm going to get up and I'm going to sort it. I also want to do some bits in my bullet journal tomorrow because I've got some new little bits and bobs for that. Oh my goodness. I feel like I need to do a whole video on bullet journaling because it is just so therapeutic, so aesthetic. I absolutely love it. I'll show you a couple of pages of my bullet journal tomorrow once I do a few more. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> I really need a good night's sleep where I don't need to set an alarm for the morning. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. We don't make the rules, we find holes instead. I told you not to fall so deep Is your feet going under now? It's a shock, we're still alive Thought we'd die the first round Good morning, I've tidied my room, thank goodness. The only things that I've got out are my two ukuleles now and the suitcase, um, which had all of my stuff in it, but I'm actually taking that one away with me when I go to America this month. So I'm really out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. I've been downstairs watching Dance Mums. It's been great because I haven't had to do anything today, which has been so nice. You can probably tell I'm in such a good mood. I cannot wait to get my hair done. Oh my goodness. I'm making TikToks, I'm doing everything. So I've bought a couple of books recently and I'm gonna show you what they are. So Harvey, got me confess by colleen hoover i have of course already read it it is absolutely brilliant would highly recommend it and then i have three more to show you so the first one is magpie society two for joy by zoe and amy zoe zoe sug i read the first one of this book and absolutely loved it so i got that like last week i have never read a memoir, an autobiography or anything like that. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it. This is The Opposite of Butterfly Hunting by Ivana Lynch. Got her signature there. So I'm very, very much looking forward to reading that. And last but not least, obviously I've read this book, but this is a different version. This is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but it's the Mina Lima version. Now, if you don't know who Mina Lima are, they are basically the graphic designers for the Harry Potter films. And they've basically done the Philosopher's Stone, but have illustrated everything within it. So it has their signature in it. I went to go and meet them and then they like wrote my name and everything. But there's like pop-up sections, a little pullouts. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with this video. Actually, to be fair, I haven't really got a lot else to say right now. I think the only thing that's gonna happen is me going to get my hair done. I'm so excited for that, but I will see you just before I go and get my hair done. no longer a blonde this is it this is my new hair oh my goodness i'm obsessed i absolutely love it i can't believe i've done it i've actually gone brunette it doesn't really feel real it feels like i'm gonna dye it back tomorrow but i much prefer this to what it was before i think that it makes me look older makes me feel more mature i absolutely love it oh my goodness i was in the hairdressers for just under three hours i think to get this so not too bad at all i had like a really nice treatment she cut it for me i get my hair done by someone called freya um on instagram her 
her username is at hair by Freya, so I'll leave her link on the screen right now, like her username. I'd highly recommend following her, like she is insane at doing hair. But yeah, it is quarter past eight. I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna do today, um, but I will obviously keep you posted. I'm just obsessed with my hair. You know when there's something about you that's new and different? I just can't stop looking at myself in the mirror, and I don't mean that in a vain way. I mean that as in like, I can't believe that I've done this, and I just need to like look at it to actually process that I have done this to myself. You know what I mean? I didn't do it, but brown, brown hair. She's not blonde anymore, and I don't see myself going blonde now for a while, so get used to the brunette, guys. It's just gone 11 o'clock. I'm starting to get tired. I'm gonna get myself into bed and just chill out for a bit. That is the end of Vlogmas Day three. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a long video. I'm gonna have to cut so much down. Okay, I will see you for Vlogmas day four tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas day four. I feel like I've been doing Vlogmas for so long, and it's literally been four days. I didn't go to sleep until like quarter to one last night. I just couldn't fall asleep. I woke up this morning at half six, and I haven't been back to sleep. So I haven't had that much sleep. I'm feeling very tired. However, today I'm actually meeting my friend Louis, who I literally haven't seen since my birthday party in August. It's been a while, but he's one of my best friends, so I'm really, really excited to see him. I've woken up with my new hair. Curl stayed in really well, actually. I feel like a new person, I'm not gonna lie to you. It is 10 to 8 right now, and I'm meeting Louis at 11. Um, I think that I'm gonna do some of my bullet journal this morning. Start the day off right. I quite like this lighting. I thought that I would do a really quick OOTD for you. I have this really nice roll neck white jumper from ASOS, and then I have some ripped jeans from Primark. I also want to show you all of my bullet journal stuff because I have so much. It's actually quite ridiculous. I know this isn't bullet journal related, but Harvey got this for me for Christmas. Oh my goodness. And it says 333. Oh, I don't actually know if he knew that. Oh, I'm going to tell him. Did you know? You know the dozy thing? Did you see the length of the song? <laughs> You're joking. Not another one. I just saw it and I was like, I don't know if you actually did that on purpose. Well, I didn't see it. Would you like to say hi? Hello, me lovers. <laughs> Have you missed me? I'm like, it's like I never left. It's Vlogmas. Oh my god, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. Okay, so I have like a few bits for my bullet journal. I have like a whole like basket, but I guess not everything in it I can actually use for bullet journaling. So in these three things are basically little pieces of paper, little pieces of crap really just like aesthetic pieces to go into the bullet journal once i actually start doing it it will make so much more sense i have some double-sided tape which is left over from photography a level i have scissors i have glue tape and then i have my whole pencil case of stuff but i'm gonna do a couple of pages now so cue the aesthetic looking green screen video thing that i have been putting on little montage bits in this video <laughs> You are free to come out now. Hiya! Hello. We're on our way to Tesco because what are we getting, Louis? Magic stars. Magic stars. Whatever falls into my hand when we actually get to Tesco, basically. Yeah, I've missed this guy. Are you happy in your life? Give people a little update. Yeah, I'm happy. I uh, found myself a girlfriend. <laughs> Broke up with her. What? Got back with her. <laughs> and I'm vibing. Little reseller. <gasps> he still likes shoes. Oh, yeah. Shoes and garlic bread. This hair. It suits you. Thank you. <laughs> I was just like, really like, really. We really like it. I'm vibing. Oh no, it's running out of battery. Okay, well, I will charge this and I'll speak to you later once we have magic stars. So, Louis has literally just left. It's been so long since I've seen him, and it was just so lovely to catch up. We had so much to talk about. But as I said, he's just left, and I think that I'm going to order myself a delivery for dinner. I don't really know what yet. I'm going to have a look when I'm downstairs, but I don't really know what I fancy. I was thinking like katsu curry, maybe a wags, but no, actually, I might get that. I'll see what's available. 
I've only eaten a sandwich today, so I haven't eaten a lot. I could get a Kokoro, 20 to 30 minutes, and it's cheaper than a Wagamama. And a Wagamama, it's 55 to 85 minutes. I think not. Chicken katsu curry is unavailable. No, I'm not doing it. Deep blue fish and chips. Might get deep blue. I ended up ordering myself chicken bites and chips and curry sauce, obviously. The chicken bites from my local fish and chip shop are incredible like i'm not even joking they are so good i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna edit a bit of this video probably watch a film yeah i'm gonna watch a film don't know what i'm gonna watch yet but i'll watch something okay so it's like 11 o'clock and as i said this morning i woke up very very early and went to sleep very late last night late for me i know that's not late to a lot of people but for me that's like ludicrous behavior i watched a couple of films actually to be fair i didn't get through the second one all the way because i was like i'm too tired but um, yeah, I'm going to sleep now. And I will see you for Vlogmas day five. Oh my goodness, 5th of December tomorrow. Tomorrow, I can say it's 10 days until I go away. I cannot wait for me to do Vlogmas while I'm in America. That's gonna be so good, oh my goodness. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day five. day five i've just wrapped my dad's christmas present my niece Maisie's christmas present and my niece evie's christmas present we're not really doing like proper presents this year because obviously we're going away which is costing a lot of money and i don't have a paying job at the moment so i'm trying to save my money but i just bought my dad a book that he wanted this is something paw patrol and this is one of those like telephone things where like you have to move the dial to get the number that's just my niece who's like just about to be one i don't really have a lot of plans for the day i think that i'm going to record a podcast episode i've got all the plans for that my morning routine is going up tonight at five which is exciting might do more of my bullet journal as well i feel like this vlog is going to be really really long so i'm sorry if you don't like long vlogs but that's just what vlogmas is it's all about having a video on in the background where you're kind of doing stuff and like listening like dropping in and out i'm going to clear up but i will vlog again once i do something a little bit more interesting So as you can see, I've washed my hair and I've just kind of dried it. I'm a little bit confused because the colour looks like it's really faded. I'm sure it will be fine. But basically, I want to try that robe hack where you get the tie from like a dressing gown or a robe or something, put it like here and then curl your hair like around it. I mean, I'm very cat candy, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to give it a go. So I know that you need to split your hair into two. <laughs> If this is gonna curl my hair, then I'm not complaining. I swear when it comes to hair, one side is always good and the other side you always, always mess up. I also have no idea how long you are supposed to leave this in for. Like, do I sleep in this? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I think that I have now made up my own thing. I don't think what I'm doing is actually what I am supposed to be doing. It's been a couple of hours, so I'm gonna take this out, see how it looks, if it's actually worked. I'm like ripping my hair out. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I'm a bit scared. I think what I'm gonna do is have it like this, obviously. I've just had it like this for a few hours but now i'm gonna plait it i mean i don't think it was meant to look like that i'll just plait it again it's fine my hair definitely looks lighter this is not good how on earth i managed to knot my hair i mean yes it is curly but like i need to plait it i mean we're just gonna roll with this apparently this bit of hair didn't want to go into the plait but that's fine these little bits that are sticking out of my fringe i've done three plaits i've done one at the back as well we're just maybe this will work it's not gonna look like curly it's gonna look like that kind of i guess it's fine so i've just finished watching i'm a celeb arlene went home sorry if that's a spoiler i am not surprised that she did to be fair kind of wanted naughty boy to go home but i just know that he's not going to go home for a while oh i started watching normal people today i've never seen it my mum watched it when it first came out last year and i just never did i don't really know why there's so much hype around it and it's meant to be everyone's comfort show so i thought that i would give it a go so so good if you haven't watched it i'm sure that most people here have watched 
watched it because it was just such a massive thing. But I also want to read the book of it. So that might be the next thing that I do. Actually, to be fair, I am like in the middle of a book. It's called Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I only recently started though, so I'm like a chapter in maybe. My hair is a mess, oh my goodness. Hopefully it's gonna be relatively curly tomorrow though. I'm gonna get ready for bed and I will see you all for Vlogmas day six. Two more days left of Vlogmas week one. Oh my goodness, I will see you tomorrow. Um, it's about two o'clock and I haven't really filmed anything today. It has been a little bit manic. Basically, if you've watched this video all the way through, which by the way, if you have, thank you very much. I've mentioned so many times that I am going to America on the 15th of December. And basically, in order to get over to America, we need to have both of our vaccinations, which me and my parents do. And we also need to do a COVID test, which needs to be negative, obviously. And we need to do that one day before we fly from Heathrow. We have one booked and it was a PCR. But it was booked for 72 hours before we were meant to go. And now obviously, Obviously, the rules have just changed that you need to make it one day before instead of 72 hours. So we had to cancel that and basically make a new booking. But it's been added to the list that we can get an antigen test, which is now what we've booked because it's also much, much cheaper and the turnaround is quicker, which is very, very useful. But the only problem was is that it took us about an hour to try and figure out where we could book this COVID test. Nowhere had slots available for the 14th of December. So we were like, oh my goodness, what the hell are we going to do? So we're like searching through so many different options and in the end I found one probably like half an hour away from here so we've booked that for the day before we go so I need to contact my internship to basically say that I can't come into work that day I can work from home it's just been a very stressful morning hence why I haven't recorded anything I've been quite preoccupied with that I can't talk because my nose is partially blocked but yeah I've tied my hair back a little bit curled the front bits because I thought it looked nicer but yeah I think it looks quite nice um tonight for dinner me, my mum, my dad, my sister, her boyfriend and his family and we're going to a curry buffet. I'm very excited for that. I've been there before. I went there a couple of weeks ago actually. It was very nice but um, I haven't really got a lot of plans for the rest of the day. I told myself that I was going to record a podcast episode because I do need to get some things recorded before I go away. Okay, I'm going to do that now actually. I am going to do it. I've got all the plans that I need for it. It's just going to make my life easier if I record a couple of episodes now. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. So this is my setup at the moment. I've kept my dad's office chair, bring it into my room and then like record my episodes here so i am just going to set up my laptop and my audio interface and the mic and everything and then i will get recording for an episode which is going up just before new year <laughs> podcast episode is recorded it's just over half an hour so not too bad at all um took me longer than that to record because obviously i stutter on every single thing that i say but other than that it went great i'm just gonna sit through briefly listen to it and then like edit the intro music and everything into it that is what i'm gonna sit for the next probably like 40 minutes doing uh what's the time it is half three so i'm going out in three hours i also need to book my train ticket for tomorrow so i'll probably do that as well but for now i'm just gonna sit and go through this podcast episode. I thought that I would show you my outfit for this evening. However, it kind of looks like I'm not wearing anything because I am the same color. It's a crop top from Pink Soda and then my jeans are from Primark and they're ripped. Hair by Hair by Freya on Instagram. I think that I'm gonna go and curl these bits again because there's like a straight bit of hair right there. What you doing? Hello. Oh, <laughs> oh hello cutie. Hey, hello. <laughs> Mum, say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. Nan, say hi to the vlog. Margo, say hi to the vlog. No, the vlog, not the dog. Hello, um, I've just got in, had a lovely curry. Um, I don't think that I actually vlogged while I was out at all. Actually, I might have got a couple of clips of my nan and granddad's dog, Margo. Um, but I'm just about to go to bed. Uh, I have to get up at 6.35 tomorrow because it's work day. So I'm heading up into London for the day. Obviously, I can't vlog too much because I can't show you like actually what I get up to. But maybe like throughout the day, if I go out when I take like, my lunch break and stuff, I will grab my phone and do a couple of videos but i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day seven been a week oh my goodness okay yeah i'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day seven <laughs> to 
formally apologise for how crap I've been at vlogging today. In fact, I can't even say that I've been vlogging because I haven't. I literally haven't filmed anything all day. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I don't really have an excuse apart from the fact that I was just really tired throughout the day and even doing my work, it felt a little bit naff. I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it today. There was nothing wrong with actual work. It was just the fact that I was tired. But I am going to end the vlog here. This is the end of Vlogmas week one. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I know that it's a long one. I apologise. But I'm actually really enjoying doing this whole like daily vlogging thing. So if you are enjoying it, then make sure that you smash a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. All of my social medias will be linked down below and I will see you next week for Vlogmas week two. Bye for now. Thank you.